comments after the news with Joanne Jeanette, who I really like. Thank you, Sean. It is 20 degrees in Chicago, 530 in the newsroom. Illinois DMVs and Secretary of State offices began their two-week-long closures today due to reports in a surge of COVID cases across the state. As of now, those offices will remain closed until January 17th, but services still being offered through the Secretary of State's website. Chicago's proof of vaccination mandate went into effect, covering the city and Cook County suburbs today. Proof of vaccination needs to be in a physical card or through Illinois Smart Health Card pass using a smartphone to enter bars, restaurants, or gyms. The vaccine mandate does not apply to churches or grocery stores unless those markets offer dining service. Illinois police are warning of a scam raising money on the GoFundMe website using the name of Sergeant Marlene Ritmanick of Bradley, who was killed last week in the line of duty. Bradley police issued a Facebook warning about scammers using fake accounts. They say if you see a fundraising page for the sergeant, you can report it to police. If you've made a donation already, police say ask for a refund. News is a service of Salem Surround. Receive a free evaluation to determine the digital presence of your business and learn how Salem Surround can help you surround your target an audience. Go to surroundchicago.com today. Your next news update coming up at six o'clock. Continuous coverage of the latest news, traffic, and weather at 560theanswer.com. At 531 on AM 560 from the Traffic Center with the check on the roads. Here's Jill Airtech. Traffic is solid eastbound on the Reagan Memorial Tollway right before Midwest Road.